Guys, I'm telling you, there are some pretty crazy things that NBA players have done to fans who wouldn't stop trash talking. It seems like every single game there's some arguments between NBA players and the fans right behind them on the sideline. Most of them are pretty playful and just for fun, but others get a little more serious. These NBA players took those arguments to the next level and decided to make things physical, with some even punching fans and others shoving them to the ground outside the stadium. This video is going to show you some of the NBA players who fought fans. This first guy was so heated during his argument with a fan that he actually injured two teammates who were trying to calm him down. Vernon Maxwell was the culprit for this particular incident as he was being relentlessly heckled while on the bench during an NBA game. He was yelling back at the fan for most of the game and his teammates didn't really care by the end of the game because, well, it had been going on for so long. But Maxwell, who goes by the name of Mad Max, randomly decided that it was time to change things up a bit. He just stood up all of a sudden and slowly walked over to the stands to his right. Then he began climbing the stairs as a few teammates and security guards followed to make sure nothing bad happened. Two men started yelling at Maxwell as he got in their face and Mad Max swung and punched the second guy right in the jaw. Both men started swinging back on him, but by then a few teammates and guards were able to break it all up and send Maxwell back to the bench. The whole time he was walking back, he was booed, and it wasn't really a surprise seeing as how he just sucker punched a fan. After looking further into the incident, here's the backlash for both parties. The fan that just kept heckling Maxwell ended up with a completely broken jaw. I guess that's a fitting end to a fight that started because of his trash talk. As for Mad Max, he was immediately ejected from that game and was banned for the next 10 matchups for his team, along with a $20,000 fine. Maxwell claimed that the fan was making very racist remarks towards him while also commenting about his daughter, which in my opinion makes that punch justified. However, the fan clapped back at those remarks and filed a massive $1.4 million lawsuit against Maxwell, claiming that he didn't say either of those things to Maxwell and instead was just making fun of him for only having five points at the end of the third quarter. Now, sadly, I couldn't find the actual end result for the lawsuit, though I do know that neither side was able to produce much evidence for either of their claims. So one could only assume that not much resulted from the lawsuit, especially Maxwell paying that much money, though he might have paid something for his actions, unlike Cedric Maxwell. See, Cedric Maxwell was trying to get good positioning during a game while a teammate was rising up for a mid-range jump shot. The shot hit off the rim and bounced towards Cedric, who was still battling with the defender. Neither of them came up with the ball at first, and after a few seconds, Cedric was accidentally pushed into the front few rows of the stands. While he was falling, he bumped into a man who was standing up right where Cedric was heading. The man didn't hold back his frustrations either. He threw what appeared to be a bottle or something at Cedric while Cedric wasn't looking. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. And without hesitation, Cedric just went insane on the dude, quickly turning around and literally leaping into the stands at the fan and seemingly tackling him a row back from where he was initially standing. Obviously, a move like this is going to ignite the fans in the surrounding area, especially those that are rooting for a different team or those who were friends or related to the man that was tackled. Everybody in the area was yelling and shoving at one another, and it took tons of security guards, staff members, and numerous players to get involved and finally calm the arena down over the incident. Cedric was very lucky though. The fight happened when the league wasn't really big on punishment, so he didn't suffer at all from this altercation. This was great news for the Boston Celtics because he was one of the best players on their team at the time and were down 3-2 in a playoff series against the Philadelphia 76ers in the conference championship. Had he been suspended for his actions, the Celtics would have had little to no chance to even the series up, but they had a far better chance with him on the court. Either way, he should have known better than to go after that fan, just like the fan should have known better than to throw something at Cedric. That was a mistake similar to what this fan tried to do with Mike Scott. At the time, Scott was a member of the Philadelphia 76ers, so of course he was in the Philly area for quite some time. He took the chance to go visit his favorite football team, only he wasn't a Philadelphia Eagles fan, instead he was a Washington Redskins fan, or now they're called the Washington football team. Regardless, he had a Washington jersey on and was walking through the parking lot past a lot of fans hanging out before the game started. That's when a group of them decided that they wanted to pick a fight with the 6 foot 8, 250 pound NBA player. Scott initially walked over there to argue with the guys before eventually throwing a punch and then backing away with the guys following him. Thankfully, he didn't land the punch and some other people in the area were able to get Scott pushed far enough away so nothing escalated. 
though it seemed like one guy in particular didn't care about any repercussions for his actions and wanted to just go at it with Scott. He sprinted straight after Mike while he was being restrained by a few people and tried to sucker punch Scott, only Scott immediately punched the man right in the jaw and dropped him to the ground. That group of guys that was arguing with Scott had to be Philadelphia 76ers fans given their Philly love, and they must have noticed Scott walking around with a rival team's jersey on, even though he's a member of their team. While they shouldn't have escalated the fight to those heights, you could kind of see why the conversation started in the first place, unlike what happened between Joel Embiid and one of his fans. Embiid is a current member of the 76ers and has a lot of love for the city and community of Philadelphia, but he also has a lot of enemies out there in the NBA due to his trash-talking and non-stop talking on and off the court. It's rubbed a ton of fans and players the wrong way, but it doesn't take away from the talent that he shows during games. But this incident with a fan actually happened outside of the court, at a street celebration after the Philadelphia Eagles were able to overcome the Atlanta Falcons in a playoff game a few years ago. Embiid was having fun with fans there and throwing a football back and forth with people in the area, and it seems like there was a giant crowd around him at the time. One guy threw a football towards Embiid, but some other fan decided he wanted to have a little fun with Embiid. He slightly pushed him on the arm and intercepted the pass that was coming towards him. The crowd seemed to love it, but Embiid had a scowl on his face. He slowly walked over to the guy that picked off his pass and he shoved him out of the camera frame. Like, he literally launched him and pushed him so much farther than what was necessary. To be honest, I'm not even sure why he was so mad at the guy in the first place. All I know is that he took it a little too far and should have just laughed and continued the fun. For somebody that does so much trash talking, he let that guy get under his skin pretty easily. This final clip happens to take place during a college game, but it does feature a current NBA player, Marcus Smart. Before Smart was drafted to the Boston Celtics and became the star defender that Boston is lucky to have, he spent some time in college where he got into a physical altercation with a fan. A player on the opposing team got off to a breakaway and jumped into the air to slam the ball down for two points. As we all know, Smart never gives up on a play, so he was chasing after the player and even jumped up with him to deflect the ball away from him to save the points. He ended up falling short of his goal, but carried so much momentum that he went flying into the first few rows. While he was there, the cameras cut over to him speaking to a fan before he pushed him with two hands and the two women around the fan immediately jumped to the fan's aid and separated it before things could have gotten much worse. Every time the cameras cut back over to the fan, he was just smiling and laughing over the situation as if he didn't do anything wrong at all, while the few people around him were shocked that it even happened in the first place. Smart walked back onto the court after the shove and pleaded with the referees to punish the man because he claims that he was yelling racist remarks at him while he was trying to get back up and return to the floor. The team ended up trying to review the footage to find out exactly what was said, and they were never able to clearly hear what was said, though it sounds close to what the fan claimed he said, calling Smart a piece of crap. It will never be known what actually was said, but clearly it had enough of an effect on Smart for him to take matters into his own hands. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to check out the most brutal blows landed in NBA history.